What's going on there, folks? Fitzcam here, Sunday, November 13. November 13. Naples, Florida, Naples Motorsports. We're here for an event tonight. My sister organized this event. She didn't organize all these exotic cars, though. Um, we got exotic cars and exotic women. So enjoy the show. I'll try. I'll try not to talk too much because I know I'm not good at that. I'll just let you enjoy the views. Maybe we'll talk to some people. We'll definitely talk to my sister. Wow, look at this. McLaren. I'll talk to my sister and she can tell you um, what this event is all about. It's about women and exotic cars. Empowering women, something like that. So. Let's take a look inside. The women in here are amazing. There's my niece. What's up, Ken? Hey, Danny. How you doing? How are you, bud? Good. <laughs> of the hour, Miss Carrie Johnson. Hey, uh, can you give us a brief overview of what this event is about? I'll be speaking in about five minutes. It's celebrate women over 40. Celebrate women over 40. Um, she'll be speaking in about five minutes. What? Look at all that foam. Yes, I am. Sharon, yes, Hi, Sharon. Hi. Good to see you. Yeah. 
in uh, Colorado at uh, Castle Rock. It was a speedway, Colorado. Yeah. I saw a McLaren with wheels that open wheel. The big Which, wheel, the big uh, wide the big tires. Wide, but it, but it was a, a, a race car. Yeah. I mean, it was a, it was a, I mean, it was a big race car. When was this? Like years? 1969. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And a McLaren. And um, so all this new stuff that I see, I don't like it at all. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't like it at all. I don't like I'm, all the changes either. No. You know what I want? I, have you ever seen the movie? Um, uh, James. Um, it was about Monte Carlo. She wanted to take a picture of the car. Take a picture? Sure. I'm sorry. Or maybe of the lady. Not the picture. Hey, how you doing? Oh, is that you? Is that you? Yes. Okay. These are all the beautiful women here tonight. That's uh, Carol, by the way. I met her. She was at our house. Can I get a shot of you next to that? I can hold that or... It's on video now, but I'm going to press the capture button. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Awesome. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Jeez. found the comfortable chairs here, the lime green chairs. Miss makeup artist. Um, I, I, you know what? I forgot your name. I'm sorry. Barbie. Barbie. How could I forget? Barbie girl. <laughs> and this is Bella. Sweet Bella. Should I photo bomb? That's right, there's a cheese bar around here somewhere. Ferrari. Go find the cheese bar. Cheese and crackers. Oh, oh, we got a speech. Speech. I'm in the right area. Oh, it's been uh, pillaged. for being here and celebrating with us. We've been working on this campaign for the past eight months, photographing ladies, and I couldn't have done it without all of our beautiful women 
and with Barbie Mercedes, our hair and makeup artist, and she should be here, I have not seen her yet. So the reason why I did this is I wanted to celebrate women. I've been a photographer for, for over 25 years. I have spent mo more time being uncomfortable in my life versus being comfortable. So one of my main focuses when you're in front of my lens or in front of my eyes is to make people feel comfortable. Hi, there's Barbie. <laughs> and I heard a story the other day of J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez, if you don't know who J-Lo is. And she was saying that when she was younger, her family told her, her family told her that she couldn't sing. Her sister could sing and her other sister was smart. So she was the athletic one, she was the dancer. So when she would go out in public and people would ask her if she sang, she would say no. Not true. She would say no because that's what she was told by other people. How many stories do we have like that, that have been put on us when we were younger? Or society, telling us that we're not the pretty one, we're not the smart one, we can't do that, we'll never be able to do that. And we take those stories as blankets, invisible blankets of energy over, over our lifetime. And it, it creates a persona of us that's not us. So part of this campaign was to allow these women to feel comfortable, to say yes to themselves, to have the courage to say yes, to walk with fear, because it's not easy. It is not easy being in front of the camera. It's not easy doing something like this with strangers. The most vulnerable thing and you're doing it with strangers. And we were able to accomplish that by making a safe space for them, by allowing them to have the confidence, which then gave them the courage to do it, and then even more confidence, and they would have fun. And they saw themselves in a different light when they saw the pictures. They were having so much fun that they actually were photographing younger. They looked beautiful, all of them, but they didn't need the campaign to tell them that they're beautiful. You don't need the campaign to tell you how valuable you are and what your worth is. We just were the catalyst to just give them one step to move forward, and that's all they needed to do. I truly enjoyed reading all of their stories too, more than, more than I thought I would when I was reading it, because I met them all, and we spent you know, hours together with them. But I encourage you all, if you haven't yet, to to meet them and to read their stories because they're saying things that they've never told anybody, some of them. And they're able to release some of that from within them, get it out there, which also starts a healing process for some too. So I've had a fabulous time doing this. We're promoting our next campaign, obviously, the 2023 campaign, that's open. Um, if you haven't gotten your raffle tickets yet, go ahead and do that at the welcome desk. And I also really want to thank our sponsors. We would not have been able to do this without Naples Motorsports hosting us, without Ken Newman um, and his All Safe company, Naples Square Realty, thank you, SF Development Group, and Dr. Kent Hasten. And a huge thank you to my printer, Brad Bowser, at Frankenstein's for all of our printing, and he was able to hang them all for me. Thank God, because I don't have the tools. <laughs> so thank you very much for coming and showing up. This is this has been huge for all of us. I really appreciate it. Enjoy, and I will see you all later. More cheese. Let's go get some more cheese.
can we eat these? They gotta be edible, right? Yep. That's good. <laughs> this is great. I didn't um, see it when I was started. It's, it's been pillaged now, but. No, it definitely has. <laughs> That's right, I'm still at the table. What's happening, brother? <laughs> What's going on, man? How you doing? Good to see you, man. So me too, yeah. She's missing.
See you guys. Yeah, we weren't supposed to move somebody at six. So we come out here and got to drive.